good evening. Very good evening to you. How are you? I'm good. You're, you're looking good. Then. You're looking beautiful too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Can you please introduce yourself? My name is Sheyifumi Akinshola. I'm the executive director, sorry, executive producer of uh, EBT and Dieko. I'm also the managing director of Astrocraft Productions. That's the company behind the two movies. Yes. How long have you been producing? Just um, a short while ago. It's wow. not, th those, are my, those are my first two movies. But you must know that I have a background. My first degree was theater arts. I had the privilege of being trained by the best in the industry. Go and find out who Professor Aegenos Ekwaze is. That's my professor in uh, University of Ibadan. Expecting the best. Yes, uh, University of Ibadan only turns out the best. And I've been privileged to go through that. Yes, so this is my first work, but you can expect a lot more in the coming years. Thank you. So right now we should, from the um, ABT and DECO, we should be expecting a very fantastic movie. I am actually sure. If, if you sat in there where people are watching it, you will be blown away. You would expect that it's nothing less than the standard that is expected from people who have gone through a lot of training. And I was privileged to have a, a very brilliant director for each uh, of the movie. Yes, so it's um, absolutely... A firecracker. Okay, so what brings about EBT and Dieko? So we were looking for stories, and I review so many stories. And the story Dieko touches my heart because I understand a lot of women have gone through a lot of trauma. So I wanted to make a statement on that. The statement that you can come out and tell your story. The statement that if you know that you're vulnerable to raping people, seek help. And so those are the, uh, you know, the motivating factor uh, behind choosing that one. And the other one, ABT, our policemen are great people. They can do a great job if you put resources out there. If they are determined to solve a crime, they will solve it. So in ABT, it looks like, oh, there's no way we're going to catch this criminal. We're not going to be able to solve this. But because of their resilience, their smartness, they were able to solve that um, problem and that's the reason I chose that movie as well. Wow. Okay, where you like are you part of the movie, the cast of Yes, I am part of because I also learned what, what role did you play? I I am the judge in um in Dieko, but I didn't act in EBT for some reason, you know, I was indisposed. So my 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 role had to go to another person because I couldn't join the um, the cast. The judge Yes. That's all. Okay. Yes. Mm. Okay. So, what are we expecting from you next? After, even in, in, in the coming years? So, um, one of the things we do is that we would only do the best available in the industry. My mentors are the people like um, Baba Kelani. I actually I interviewed him for my uh, project as an undergraduate. Challenges of Home Video Production in Nigeria, as it was called, it was called Home Video. So he only does the best of work, and that's my mentor in the industry. So I will only do what will stand the test of time and you know the standard available. Yes, absolutely. So, like this movie, you're looking forward to it selling to what extent? Well, I certainly hope that it will go wide and people would um, like it. And um, we've got some great feedback there. And I hope people are excited and looking forward to seeing it. And um, we never can tell. We're speaking with so many platforms uh, to distribute this uh, movie. And we have the option of distributing it abroad as well. I live in England, so it is an, I have an option to distribute in England as well. So it will go viral by the special grace of God. Thank you. Thank you nice very much. Speaking. Nice speaking with you. Thank you very much. Hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My people, I am here with the director of DA Call. How are you doing? Thank you so much. I'm fine. Thank so, you. Like, during the process of the shooting of the movie, so what challenge is it? Uh, locations fine. We first we had a problem of locations because we have to move from different locations to the older like at Yaba, the magistrate court at Yaba. Then we have to move to Maryland. We have to move to Ikorodu, and it's I think getting set in that little period of time and with the locations, uh, it's just the main thing. 
So, yeah. so how did you overcome it during the process? How did you overcome the process? We don't have a choice. It's uh, it's every production is meant to have its own challenges. Then we have to move on. The show will have to continue anyway. Anyhow. Okay. So for how long have you been into the shooting? Like the shooting, as in the. How long did you take to shoot? Depending on the script, we spend five days to five days at the road to do the shoot. So we have a schedule for each day, which we have to go by. Then that's all. Okay, so for how long have you been into directing? Into movie style, into movie life. For I, I did my first movie 2008 when I left school. When I finished from the university, but I traveled, I went to film school, I come back. So officially, I directed for the first time 2015 February. That was the first time I directed officially as a movie director. Okay, so in the next two years, so what are you expecting? Hey, next two years, yeah. maybe I'll be in the Hollywood. Oh my Jesus. Okay, so with working with the cast and crew too, is there any challenges with them? No, my 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 crew are my people, people that I've been working with every day and my cast definitely I have to know you before I can cast you well for my role and to be able to be sure you can actually interpret each role for me. So I don't have issues with the casting. All right. So it was very, very so it was very easy and smooth. Very, very easy for them. Okay, thank you. Nice speaking. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Good evening. You're looking good. If you do, and I think so, actually. Um, like, seriously? It took, me, it took me like two minutes to dress up. Two minutes? In a whole two minutes. You know, time is precious. Okay, all this coming. Uh, I'm a guy now. I don't be lady now. Now, lady, they use five hours. Actually, let's, let's, let's just be mm -hmm. I need to be up to two hours. Ah, so you will see the apple and they do wake up. <laughs> it's just, it's just okay, let's say five minutes, yeah, five minutes. I wore my captain and the sneakers, okay. Who made, who made church? Um, the one I'm putting on is made by Front Sitters Clothing. You can follow them on Instagram. Front Sitters, oh shit. <laughs> Give them. Okay, so, can you introduce yourself to the people? Can I, okay, introduce myself. Alright, my name is Inka Salao, Barry Inka Salao, actually. Yeah, um, a movie producer, um, movie actor, uh, one of the MCs for the honor of FIFA. I handle events, I plan events. I'm a Nigerian. Then I like what, what? What channel is this? Okay, and I like and I love Studio 93. So be watching. Okay. Right. So what brings about the echo? It's not actually my movie. I, I featured in the movie actually. Yeah, I was called and when I was called, I sent the script, which is very okay because sometimes I don't get to see the script until like a day or two. But it sent it way before and um, I digested it. I read it. I, dig I digested it and I liked the story, you know. It, it, it touched the, the topic rape, which is um, very controversial and is been, you know, occurring like um, over time in Nigeria. So it 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 made it brought, you know, it it it's made it clear that uh, this rape thing is not one-sided. You know, most times when they talk about rape, they look at the guy's direction. But sometimes girls rape too. Yeah. But when ow, they tell, ow, ow. girls rape now. Ow. Forcefully, rape is um, like I am having sexual intercourse with someone without the person's consent. So if I'm not consenting to. Um, sexual intercourse with you, but you are insisting. You know, like okay, I don't, I don't want to be vulgar here, but okay, like, but fine, it can happen the same, the the, the two ways. Yeah, okay. they they will be like, ah, girls, ah, how will they hold you? How they grab you? But the point is, it can happen. They can get you drunk. They can put different ways. It can be done different ways. Yeah, then it can, they can even be more than one, like maybe three, four. You know, to overpower then. The, <coughs> So don't, don't let's go into details, you know, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long thing. Okay, <laughs> so how do you feel working with cast and crew? So, yeah, cool, cool. Um, the director was on point. He, he believes in excellence, so he didn't let any flaw, he didn't, he didn't allow any flaw, he didn't allow any loop loophole. It was there, like, make sure everything was on point. Then the cast were on point. So I, I enjoyed working on the on the movie there, Co. Yeah, so then... Um, like I was saying, the movie touched, spoke about um, the rape thing and um, 
and how you can go about like you know sometimes when all these people when they are raped they it affects them psychologically so how you can go about coming out of that um, um, um that state yeah that state of um okay i've been raped because it affects them it, it, it makes them see life in different ways it makes them see the opposite sex in different ways like they don't relate like every normal uh, person again so but some people when they are molested like that and it affects them, they just go about messing the whole place up. So instead of doing that, why not seek the help of the uh, psychologists, maybe government or whatever body that is in charge of that to actually put yourself back into shape. So that's what the uh, movie there called, yeah, spoke about. Then the other one, which is Ebiti, spoke about um, crime. Crime, yeah. So you can the Yoruba people will say, Ojo Bonitole, Ojo Kontolo. Yeah, you can't, you, everything... Everything that comes around goes. I mean, everything that goes around comes around. There's no way you will sow this bad thing that it won't come back to you. If it doesn't come back to you, it will come back to your children or children's children. So that's what the ABT talks about. You know, like okay, you you the person actually did something and he thought he could get away with it, but at the end of the day, it was crap. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in next two years, so where do you find yourself? Next two years, it's just around the corner. Uh -uh. That's 2023. I, I, I'm just hoping it will be better. You know, we're in Nigeria together. So, you know, I say they go. I hope um, 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 Sade will go back from 750 to 200 Lera. <laughs> so, uh, so, everything will be fine. Everything will be better for me, you know, like in everything I'm doing. Because right now, I must confess, it's not been easy, you know, for any, any, anybody, Abby. We've, it's been God. Let me just put it that way. Don't let me conf confess negatively. It's been God. It's been God, but we thank God. Okay, so what advice do you have for the upcoming actors and actresses? They should be consistent, they should be persistent, they should put God first, they should not give up, really. They should not give up. It's not, uh, no, no trade, no profession is easy, but once you don't give up, the sky is the beginning. Yeah. Thank you, nice speaking. Yeah, you're welcome, I'm tired. Hi. So, what, like, to your expectation, do ABT and DECO, do they meet your expectation? Of course they did. This is Babashi Fashiro and this is the second time he will be premiering his movie. So, and now it's double. We are having a double dose of DECO and ABT. I've seen DECO and it's actually a very great story. I like the fact that they treated a story that a lot of producers, a lot of people run away from. They just want to make comedy and stuff. But this one is very sensitive and I like the fact that he treated this kind of story. Yeah, I like his angle to the story. So, so what advice do you have for the industry generally? The advice I have in the industry. No, you have for the industry to keep doing. Well, I'm in the industry. We should just keep bringing out great movies, entertaining people, making people happy. And people should please keep supporting us however you can. You know, don't stop condemning or criticizing our movies. We're trying. We're trying. We're using sweat and blood. So just support uh, the creative industry. We're trying as much as possible to make the world a better place. To make everybody uh, to to make everybody sane, in spite of all the problems and everything, we're still ensuring that our sanity is 100 percent with entertainment. So they should keep giving us kudos. Yeah. So Nigeria industry, so they deserve kudos. Okay, so actually for the movie, so if you have to rate the movie, like, to what extent are you going to rate? The movie? I don't like rating movies though because I make movies as well. Wow. All I'm gonna say it's a great movie, and you guys should go to, should go and say it when it's out. Yeah, I don't I don't rate movies. I make movies too, but it's a great one. Yeah. Okay, nice speaking. Thank you. Have a lot. Yes.